June of 2019 and technically the beginning of hurricane season, Wild Child's trying to make her way south to the safety of Lupron in the Dominican Republic before a hurricane comes. Yesterday we sailed all day until sunset to make it to Crooked Island, and in this episode we're going to sail from Crooked Island about 40 miles south to the tip of Acklands Island. Conditions are sunny, perfect and calm, and this should be an easy day of sailing. This will put us in position for a 76 mile jump south to Great Inago Island, the furthest place south you can check out of the Bahamas. Oh, sorry, I'm... you're definitely gonna yell at me if I stick a camera in your face, so don't worry. <clears throat> So it's early the next morning. Uh, well, early means 7.30. We've been up since 6.30. We've had a long night. The winds are in the wrong direction. So the land is there and the waves are rolling in from that direction and the wind is in that direction. So this has made this a rolly anchorage. So we've been rolling all night long. The wind is supposed to be from the east, so we were supposed to be beautifully protected from that land over there. All weather forecasts are always wrong. And instead we have the wind from there, which I don't know if you can see that, but that's sort of the tip of the land. So we're not really protected. We got ocean swell rolling in. Nothing serious, of course. Just enough to roll the boat and make you uncomfortable in your bed. So, let's get her started. Let's do brightness. So, um, we're tired. I mean, the weather conditions are good. The winds are calm. We have to do 40 miles today. We're leaving earlier in the morning because yesterday we left around 9 and we arrived like 5 minutes before dark. Like, we arrived probably 25 minutes after sunset. Uh, it's not good for us to arrive in the dark or after sunset. That's not a good idea So we have to get up earlier to take more advantage of the daylight 40 miles in theory is an eight-hour sail But it's 40 miles into the wind So 40 miles tacking into it becomes 50 or 55 miles in light squirrely winds isn't moving at five knots It's moving at three or four knots So even though 40 miles doesn't seem far it's gonna take us all day to get there So Let's go lift the anchor, guys. And presto, just like that wild child is sailing. Look how easy that was for you guys. We are, I don't know, relatively calm ocean. Can you just report the helm, like wind over speed and wind angle? The wind angle 68, 11 over 5. Hmm. Let's go that way. All day sailing into the wind again. I think they call it the thorny path to go against the wind all the way down the, the Caribbean. That's what Wild Child is doing. Good thing she can point. And the ocean's pretty calm, the waves are all a meter or less. That's the thing about the way Wild Child is designed to sail. She just lays a rail in the water, she's stable, she's happy, and she just goes straight into the wind. This is one of the things that I like about the ocean. There's not a lot of bullshit out here. You can't smell the bullshit of society from way out here on the water. So you're safe, you're protected from it. It's just you and Mother Nature. And this is it. 
all day under blue skies and the sunshine and calm ocean conditions, Wild Child makes her way south to the tip of Acklands Island. We're sailing upwind and conditions are good. Hours and hours and hours. You sit at home on the comfort of your couch and you look at the water and say, look how calm it is. And you're right, it is calm. But I spend all day sitting on the boat. And every time you see those waves slamming over the bow, my body's getting slammed by the impact. All day getting tossed around, smashy smashy. I'm not sure if I'm still in love with sailing or not. This is very peaceful. Mother Nature's in a good mood. This is calm and lovely and easy sailing. These are good times sailing. Is this the meaning of life? I'm not sure. And eventually, after an entire day of easy and lovely sailing, we found paradise. Ackland's Island, Bahamas and the Exumas is absolutely paradise. We pulled into Jamaica Bay, set the hook, and just found breathtaking scenery. There are no roads, there are no houses, there are no resorts, there are no people. Nothing but miles and miles of crystal clear waters and beautiful white sand beaches, and we've got the entire place to ourselves. We really are in paradise. This is fantastic. This is the second day that Wild Child has been anchored off Ackland Island. It's really a deserted tropical paradise. <clears throat> We're in 20 feet of water. It's crystal clear, you can see the bottom. We finally set up the wind scoop. It's hot, it's like 35 degrees Celsius every day plus humid X. Some mornings the humidity is in the 70% range. Right now it's only 60% and 35 degrees Celsius. It really is a deserted tropical paradise. Elena, do you remember how perfect this moment was? These few days that we spent anchored off Ackland's Island is burned in my memory as a perfect moment in time, the very meaning of going cruising. It was fabulous. I absolutely love the Bahamas, and places like this are exactly why. I can't show you most of the footage of our time there because we weren't wearing any clothes, but we had a really nice time. With perfect weather, no wind, hardly any waves, only the gentlest swell, no people, no rules, no society, no bullshit. It was absolutely paradise. I was really hesitant to leave, but soon we have to make our jump south to Great Inagua. I have no internet here, and I cannot see the weather. And it is hurricane season. Elena and Lexi are drinking rum punches and enjoying paradise swapping stories. very important when you're the girl captain of a sailing vessel to make sure that you still take care of your nails because everybody wants pretty nails when they're sailing when they're captaining a boat right the hard part is to not ruin them within the first 24 hours but it's salon day 
See all you men captains out there, you all think that your nails aren't important, but you don't appreciate to be a really good sailing captain. Your nails are the most important part of being a captain, <laughs> clearly. Nobody wants to be a captain with yucky nails. What's <laughs> not just And it's even important for the crew to make sure they take care of their nails too. So Ellen is putting strengthener on her nails. It's almost impossible to film you without you knowing it. You're so sensitive to the sound of the camera. <laughs> well, it's time for Wild Child to leave Acklands Island. We were originally going to get up at 4 a.m. for an early start. We have to do 85 miles south, but we're going to have light winds from the northeast. And I decided that we're not going to average five knots of speed. We're more likely to average three or four knots of speed. So 85 miles is sort of a bad amount. We need 21 hours. Originally we we're going to leave at 4 a.m. and try to arrive before dark, but I've concluded we're not going to do that. Wild Child has to leave in the middle of the afternoon today, sail overnight, and arrive by sunrise in the morning. It looks like we have an overnight passage to do. Seems like it's time to leave paradise.